morning. Good morning. So there's a little bit, you know, energy in the room, right? So good morning. So we're glad to be here as Microsoft. Um, actually, it's my first appearance uh, in one of the Start of Turkey events. Um, so today, I would like to share our view of the startup ecosystem, um, the investors, startup companies as Microsoft, um, share our insights, what we are learning, uh, and how we can help uh, the new companies, also the investors um, in this big ecosystem. So as Microsoft, as, as you may imagine, um, we are working at the moment uh, with around or more than 200,000 startups around the world, and um, 1,500 uh, 1, of them are actually uh, in Turkey. And during this you know, long experience of working together with um, startups, uh, we saw a lot of successful um, companies, but also we saw a lot of failures um, that didn't go well. So, I mean, I thought um, it would be good to share some of our, uh, some of our findings, some of our experiences and insights with all of you um, how to become successful, kind of sharing the best practices of others uh, from Microsoft point of view. Um, so, um, first of all, you know, we think it as a circle uh, to be successful in the startup world. Um, so we call it interconnected um, ambitions because one of the biggest failures of the startups um, as soon as they're established, they try to look for investments. They, they go after uh, venture capitalists, you know, government agencies who are spending dollars for startups. I think this is one of the biggest mistakes to make at the beginning before, before you know, uh, developing your product to meet the, um, the, uh, the, the, the wishes, the, the expectations of your customers, that meet the requirements of your customers. I think the core here is to make sure you are addressing your customers' needs first, you have a great product, and then go after this, um, you know, hunting for, for investments, hunting for money. Because when you start to do it very early, you quickly defocus from your core responsibility, from your core idea, which is building a great product uh, for your customers. I think that's one of the key things that we are seeing, um, you know, trying to be, uh, very quick to attract funding and investments. And also some of the investors are falling into this trap uh, because you know, the, the startups are running around them, you know, uh, presenting, trying to show their best, but you know, some quick decisions also lead to some very big failures and that we, we saw um, very, very often. Um, and then you know, once you have a great product that your customers love, then it's time uh, to go for, for investments to scale uh, with funding uh, from companies uh, like us, uh, from venture capitalists, um, in our opinion. You know, I was reading a Business Week article, uh, I think it was last year, in November, about Instagram. Instagram never, uh, you know, looked for investments until they were acquired. Uh, you know, they only focus was their own product to build a, a, a very good, a very successful social application before they were acquired. Uh, once you have this funding and once you scale more, then, um, then you know, companies like us come into picture. You know, one of the examples is obviously Microsoft, where we can connect the startups, uh, the companies with, with good ideas, with, uh, you know, great products, with customers, because as you can imagine, we have hundreds of thousands of, if not millions of customers around the world that use our products, from enterprise customers to uh, small and medium to consumers. And then we can help startups like you to connect your, your, your products, uh, your ideas uh, with our customers. And I think it's a huge value we can add um, um, in this sense. And we did it, um, you know, in many, many instances um, before. Um, we have, um, you know, great successes, especially in Turkey, you know, Marco Foni, Trendyol, 
um, and we continue to do that. And we also do, you know, maybe you don't know uh, many of their names because they're specific to some industries where we connect those um, young Turkish companies with global customers in the US, in Western Europe, uh, in Middle East and Africa. And I think it's a very, very valuable, uh, valuable part of this circle. So I think, you know, again, to be uh, successful, uh, we believe uh, uh, this circle is very, very important because once you have connect uh, with those customers uh, through global companies like us, then, you know, you can build uh, new um, features on your product or, you know, diversify your product and the circle starts again uh, with bigger and bigger number of customers. So it's not a vicious circle, it's a circle that grows your business very, very successfully. So um, that's how we see um, um, this ecosystem. Again, um, so we would really like to have entrepreneurs that last. It's, it's easy uh, to say than really do it, but I would like to explain what we mean. So functional expertise is extremely important in my opinion. What I mean is the following. So when you, when you build your new company, your startup, you kind of in love with this company, with your idea. And you know, in most love relationships, as you know, you don't want to share it, okay? Uh, you want to keep it to your, to, to your own uh, and own it. So it's one of the biggest mistakes to make. You have to hire people who are better than you into your company, really. You need to build an A-team, which, you know, who can, who can write codes better than you, who can connect you with your customers, with your customers' needs. Because this is, uh, this is a very, very uh, important point we, that we see not every uh, startup is following, and they're falling into trap of, you know, keeping the idea, which is a good idea, very limited and cannot grow because of not having an A-team. And then comes... Um, the point of uh, management structure. So uh, what I mean is, is, is more like um, do the right thing and know what not to do, okay? Because your investors, venture capitalists, you know, uh, the, the funding provi providers will push you for greater returns. And this is a big trap, again, that you may fall. If you listen to their asks too much, it's very easy to distract from your, you know, from your own focus, which should be, as I said in the beginning, um, to meet your customers' needs, to make them happy and grow. So, of course, financial, um, uh, financial results are important, but you have to build a management structure. I don't mean only the management teams. Of course, you have to have a, a great management team, but a management structure of focusing you know, on your core competencies building your product uh, to have a successful product, make your customers happy, and then the second priority is to keep your investors happy. Uh, we believe it's, uh, it's a, a big, uh, big uh, point to, to look at. And then the last one is the cultural values. Um, because as soon as you, you get to be bigger, um, when you grow, there will be a lot of people, there will be a lot of layers in your organization which may um, put a big risk of losing your cultural values. Again, um, your core value of establishing this new startup, the idea of helping the customers may, may disappear very, very quickly when you add all these layers of people, uh, you know, departments and divisions. So again, you have to keep your focus, uh, customer focus, in the center of everything, even if you grow your business uh, in size. So in my opinion, you know, these three things um, are like keys for success that we have been seeing in life. Um, you know, with, with many, many startups, as I said, 200,000 startups around the world, and you know, 1,500 of them are in Turkey at the moment. Uh, and the successful ones, um, we're following, you know, an example is, uh, you know, Yemek Sepeti, you all know, um, you know, they, they acquired funding only after 10 years of operations. You know, they, they were not, you know, 
They were not a company who attracted funding or investments in the beginning. They did the right things. They established the right management structure, the right people, a great uh, team of developers, business developers, technical developers, and then they reached to success. And I think uh, you know, we need to follow, or you need to follow uh, the same recipe uh, or the same insight that we um, have uh, seen. So we are in the middle of a revolution. I mean, everybody is saying that. I'm sure, you know, in all these speeches, in those events, you're hearing the same thing. A, an, in, uh, an invisible uh, revolution is coming. Uh, you know, I would, like to, I would like to relate it to the industrial revolution uh, with cars. So as you know, Henry Ford, uh, at the beginning of the century, you know, he developed the, the uh, T model, the car, and then the automotive industry started to build. But something else happened at the same time, the oil industry. Uh, at that time, the oil industry was not a big industry. You know, there was oil, but with the, with the development of automotive industry, companies like, like Shell, Exxon, you know, Mobil, um, BP, they, they started to become the largest companies of the world, right? Um, which was which was not there before the car. So the same thing is happening at the moment with big data and IoT. Um, we believe you know, the development of IoT and big data will bring around, uh, I think, $1.6 trillion uh, of related economy, related business by 2020. And this is according to IDC. It's not Microsoft's assumption that will, uh, you know, build around these technologies of big data and IoT. And I believe <clears throat> as the startups of Turkey and global startups, um, if we do the right things, if we follow the insights that you know, I just shared, um, we can capture a big portion of it as Turkish startups as well and make this country a startup nation that we really believe that could happen. Um, so. You know, uh, one of the announcements that I would like to make uh, is um, a startup, a great startup from, from Turkey, which is Fitwell. Maybe you heard the name. Um, so Fitwell is, uh, is a company who develop uh, fitness software uh, for wellness, keeping track of your health, for wearables. Um, uh, currently around the world, they have 740,000 users and they keep growing. Did they became the first, first startup from Turkey which has been accepted by Microsoft Ventures London Accelerator. So it's a great achievement, the first company from Turkey that will be um, funded and accelerated by, by Microsoft uh, in our London um, Accelerator Hub. And we believe um, they will be very, very, very successful globally very soon. And they are one of the good examples who followed uh, you know, some of the, the insights that I shared uh, in the beginning. Uh, having a, a, a great idea, of course, is a no-brainer. You have to have it. But then focusing on this idea and customer needs, uh, you know, rather than uh, focusing solely on investments, building a great team uh, of people, and then working with us to reach more customers around the world, and then scaling with more funding uh, from companies like us or from other uh, venture capitalists. So, um, I think I, you know, um, I was, uh, I was clear about how we see as Microsoft uh, the, uh, the 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 path to success. Um, we are very happy to be part of uh, uh, Startup Turkey. Um, Startup Turkey. We will be here, and our team will be here uh, in the remaining of the day. Please feel free to, to contact with us. Uh, we will be happy to hear your experiences, your successes. Um, thanks for listening to me, and, and see you later. Thanks.